Hey guys, it's Amanda here. I wanted to hop on and show you a tutorial on how I do the printable post-it notes in the digital dash box. These are so easy. Um, I love making them. They go with just about anything. They can go in any spread and any planner and I love how I can change them up every month with the new post-it notes. So first what you want to do is you want to go find the post-it template file on um, your downloads. And what you'll do is you'll print out the template file. So this is what it'll look like when it prints out. And you'll see here there are boxes. And these are the boxes that you'll put the post-it notes on. So what I use, and I will link these down below, are these post-it notes. They're white post-it notes. And they're the super sticky brand from Post-it. Now you can get these on Amazon, you can get them at Target, pretty much anywhere. But I like to make sure to get the super sticky ones because they will stick on here much better, especially when you're putting them through your printer. So for this, it's super easy. I just come in here and you just line it up. Try to line it up as best as you can, as you can see right there. Um, I do put a bleed around these so they don't have to be absolutely perfect. So you know, if you, your printer's a little bit off or if you move these a little bit around, that's okay because it'll print outside it just a little bit to give you kind of that leeway to make it a little easier. So you just want to do that for all six, like that. So when you have them all done, what you'll do is you will put them in your printer. Now my printer, it feeds upside down. So however your printer feeds, you want to place it in there and you always want to make sure that the part that's stuck down right here, this part is facing um, towards the printer. So that part's going to go in first. That way, um, if you put it in this way, there's a chance that these can get picked up by your printer or your print head. So you always wanna make sure that these are going in first. So what this is, I'll just put it in like that and then it'll feed through my printer and come out printed. And so that's, this is what that'll look like right here. So once it's all printed and done, you'll have the post-it notes like that. And these are so cute. Like honestly, if you just leave it like this, they're absolutely perfect. Um, I love them because you can then, you just take them off like that and sometimes what I do is I get a piece of cardstock and I cut it to three by three and I'll put this down on top of it to get it started. And then all you do is keep building them up like that. You do all of them and then you have a post-it notepad and they're super, super, super cute. And see after I've unstuck them, they're still sticky and they'll still stick down. You can pretty much unstick them and stick them down a ton of times, which I love. So, to do the foiled version, you will take your printed post-its that are like this, obviously before you peel them up, and you will open up the foil file. So it'll be in the post-its foil, and that is basically just the text. So then you'll put this into your laser printer. Now you wanna use a laser printer for all foiling. Um, black and white is the best. Uh, because black is obviously the most dense color, so you're going to get a better stick with the foil. Foil basically sticks to toner ink. It's a plastic on plastic, so that's what adheres it to the foil. So you'll run it through a laser printer. Now, um, I know some of you don't have a laser printer, and that is totally fine. You can take it to almost any print, um, print shop or office supply store, and they can laser print things for you, and you can foil them there because all you need to foil is a laser printer and a laminator. I've even actually heard of people foiling after they printed it on laser, they foil it with an iron or they um, run it through pretty much anything that's hot that'll heat it up and melt the toner ink. That is what's gonna melt the ink and that will adhere the foil to it. So basically you'll take your post-it file that's already printed on the inkjet right here and then you'll run it through your laser printer and you'll get this. So here you can see it printed the text, autumn time. Super, super, super cute. So then once you have this, it's super easy. What you'll do is you'll place your toner foil on top, a sheet of foil on top. And then um, I'm gonna go run it through my laminator, which I think works absolutely perfect. I've tried minks, I've tried everything else, and they all work. I just like having a little bit more flexibility with my laminator because it's, um, it's a larger, more commercial grade laminator and that way I can do a bunch of foil stuff for my shop and everything, but if you're just doing it for yourself at home, a mink will work, um, 
any brand laminator, doesn't matter the cheap ones, the expensive ones, they all pretty much heat up the same, so that works. So I'm gonna go run this um, through my laminator and I will show you what it looks like. So I ran this, so I ran this through um, my laminator with the foil on top, and you can see here, look at that, they're so pretty. It foiled all of the text. So it only foils what you print with a laser, and it leaves the rest regular. Look at that, it's so pretty. I love these so much. They're super easy. Um, like I said, you can, you don't even have to foil them. You can run them through twice on your inkjet and have the autumn time in black up here, or you can change the to anything you could change the color of this to like a glitter gold glitter or anything you want you can print on top of it so you don't have to laser and you don't have to foil but I mean obviously it looks so cute like that but so does that it's so adorable and you have your own custom post-its and they're super awesome hope this tutorial helps